NHL review of November 10th, 2018. It's been about two weeks since I've seen you last. Um, I've been busy with work. My apologies. Uh, there was 11 games on um, tonight slash last night, depending on which time you're watching this. I'm already in the 11th uh, as I'm recording this. In any case... Um, there's a lot to go over, so let's just get to it, shall we? Uh, Nashville Predators 5-4 over the Dallas Stars in overtime. Um, uh, in the first, uh, Dallas starts off with scoring uh, by with Pitlick. Pitlick uh, gets his third of the year, assisted by Fak Faxa. I like that name. I like saying it. Faxa. Saying it really fast. All right. <laughs> Second period. Um, uh, Nashville gets on board. Hartman tie, um, they tie it up. Hartman gets his fifth of the year unassisted. Um, Dallas then goes ahead two to one. Sagan gets his fifth of the year. You think he'd have more? Um, assisted by Honka and this is a hard one to pronounce. Um, Nishuskin. Nishuskin. Uh, Dallas then goes uh, ahead three to one. Spezza gets his fourth of the year on the power play, um, unassisted. Uh, by the way, it's his 1,000th game today. Um, there was a celebration. He got a silver stick, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, third period. Uh, Johansson from the Predators scores, uh, gets his third of the year. It's now 3-2 uh, Nashville, assisted by Yossi and Arvidsson. Um, it's now 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Nashville ties it up. Weber, Weber gets a second of the year, assisted by Fiala and Bitello. Um... Dallas says, wait a second. They take back the lead. Uh, they make it 4-3. Four, uh, four, uh, Gira... Gurianov? Gurianov? Um, he gets his first of the year, assisted by Gleason, who had a decent game, by the way, um, and uh, Jordy Ben. Um, Nashville then ties it up again. Uh, Yossi gets his second point of the night, his fifth of the year. Um, fifth goal of the year, excuse me, on a power play, assisted by Johansson, getting his second point of the night, and Forsberg. Um, in overtime, uh, Nashville puts a dagger in. Um, Ekholm gets his third of the year, assisted by Turris and Saban. Uh, Dallas had this. It was in their grasp. Um... I mean, Saros had a decent game. It wasn't his greatest, but Bishop, there was one goal in particular he just should have had, it, which was a definite softy. Maybe there was another one, um, possibly. I saw most of this game. Uh, this is one of the three games um, I watched today. Um, so, uh, in any case, uh, Nashville was 1 for 5 on the power play, um, and Dallas was 1 for 3. Uh, Saros stopped 20 to 24. Uh, Bishop stopped 29 of 34. Uh, Nashville is now a league leading 13 3 and 0 with 26 points. Dallas, um, respectable. Um, they're they're kind of coming along. I mean, uh, with 9 7 and 1 with 20. I mean, most bets were on Nashville on this one in any case, but um, it's good to see them at least get a point because I think people have um, some higher expectations than what they're. Uh, the, their record shows so far. Uh, moving on, um, especially with their in, their injury um, uh, to, to the decor here. So uh, I think Na Nashville kind of walked in, kind of were, we're looking past this game, and um, that's why they almost lost it. Uh, in any case, um, Philadelphia Flyers uh, beat the Chicago Blackhawks four to zero. A shutout. Um, Giroux, starting off in the first period with Giroux, who got his seventh of the year unassisted. Uh, in the second, uh, Couturier scored his sixth of the year, assisted by Giroux with his second point of the night. Uh, third period, Couturier gets his second point of the game. His seventh goal of the season, assisted by Giroux, uh, gets his third point of the game, and Provorov. Um, ne next up in the, in, uh, in the third, uh, Nolan Patrick uh, makes it uh, four nothing. Um, gets his fifth of the year. It's good to see him going, um, starting to get some traction in his sophomore season. Assisted by uh, Couturier with his uh, third point of the night. Um, Philly goes 0 for three on the power play, though. Uh, Chicago 0 for four. New coaches got to take a look at that, huh? 
Um, Elliot gets a shutout. Elliot, a Philadelphia Flyer goalie. I know. Amazing, right? Um, he stops 33 of 33 shots. Uh, Crawford, who still doesn't hasn't seemed to uh, come back to his usual form, stopped 21 of 24. Uh, Philly's now 9-7 and 1 with 19 points. And Chicago is 6-8 and 3 with 15. Um, moving on. The Buffalo Sabres beat the Vancouver Canucks 4-3 in the shootout. Um, we start off in the first uh, with Buffalo gets on the board with Bel Bel Belieu. Belieu. Um, he gets a second of the season assisted by uh, Akpozo and Dallin. Uh, in the second period, um, Vancouver uh, ties it up. Eric Erickson gets his fourth of the year. He seems to be starting to coming around slowly here, assisted by Granlund and Horvat. Um, Vancouver then goes ahead uh, two to one in the second period. Um, uh, Vertanen gets his seventh of the year. Uh, I say that in this tone because you know people seem to have written this kid off, but um, we'll see if it's a fluke or not. But he's so far he's doing well, and that was assisted by Roussel. In the third period, uh, Vancouver goes ahead 3-1. to one. Um, Gubranson gets a second of the season, uh, assisted by Erickson, gets a second point of the night. Um, and Roussel, who also gets a second point of the night. Um, this is when the tide starts to turn. Buffalo wakes up. Skinner gets his 12th. His 12th of the season, yeah. Um... He's making a run for it, goal-wise. Uh, assisted by Reinhardt and Ristolainen. Um, and then Buffalo ties it up. Reinhardt gets his second of the season, assisted by, um, and his second point of the game, assisted by Ristolainen and Dahlin, who both get their um, second points of the game. Uh, in the shootout, uh, for Buffalo, uh, Eichel and Middlestat score, and for Vancouver, Grandland, and that's all she wrote. Um, Buffalo went 0 for 2 on the power play. Uh, Vancouver went 0 for 4. Hmm. Uh, Hutton saved 36 of 39 shots, um, and Markstrom saved 34 of 37. Uh, Buffalo's now 9 6 and 2 with 20 points. Yeah. Hello. Um, all of a sudden, uh, these teams, Montreal, Buffalo, Carolina, all these teams um, who are supposed to be doing really poorly have a half-decent record. Um, Vancouver is now 10-6-2, speaking of having a half-decent record, with 22 points. Even, uh, they, you know, they pick up that extra point. Um, Vancouver just keeps on rolling. And Pedersen didn't even get on the board. Um, but Horvat did. Erickson was coming around. Um... And uh, Verchanin, you know, uh, yeah. So next, next up, we have the Carolina Hurricanes um, lose to the Detroit Red Wings uh, four three in the shootout. Um, Carolina had this game at one point. Um, they were leading at three to one. In any case, uh, Detroit starts off the scoring. Anastow gets a sixth of the season. He's really warming up. Um, assisted by Jensen and Nielsen, um, then Carol, then Carolina makes it uh, ties it up. Uh, McGinn gets a second of the season, assisted by Flurry and Di Giuseppe. The second period, I have a bubble. Anyway, there it is. Okay, it's gone now. Uh, in the second period, uh, Furland um, gets his eighth of the season on the power play, assisted by Afo. Uh, Afo. Aho and uh, Turvinen. Um, then uh, so that's two one Carolina. Carolina th then makes it um, three to one. Uh, score with a goal from Hamilton, his third of the season, uh, assisted by Aho and Turvinen, um, who get their second points of the night. Um, then something happens. The tides change in the third period. Uh, Detroit comes to life. Mantha gets his fourth of the season, uh, assisted by. Um, Anastow gets a second point of the night, um, and, and Nyquist. Um, then 
Detroit makes it, ties the game, makes it 3-all. Mantha gets his second of the night, his fifth of the season, assisted by Helm and Larkin. Um, and, yeah, then we go to the shootout. Um, Nielsen gets the shootout goal uh, for Detroit, and there you have it. Detroit has another win. Yes, the Red Wings, they won. Unbelievable. Um, Carolina was 1-5 for five on the power play tonight. Uh, Detroit was 0 for 2. Um, Darling stopped 29 of 32 shots. Uh, there was a point, I want to say it was in the second period, where uh, Darling made like three spectacular saves in a row. It looked like he was out of position. And um, go check out some of the highlights for that game. You're going to want to see him. Um, Bernier stopped 49 of 52 shots. Yeah. Um, hopefully uh, this is him having... Uh, turning his season around because his last few games haven't been so terrific. Um, Carolina is now 7 7 and 3 uh, with 17 points. So they've obviously cooled down a bit. Um, uh, but uh, Detroit, 7 8 and 2 with 16 points. Um, they're warming up. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, next game up, we have the Boston Bruins 5 1 over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Man, I'm a Toronto fan. Um, if you know me, you know that. And Boston's top line, just, I mean, everyone knows they're good, right? Marchand, Pasternak, Bergeron, we know they're good. But they just, they just dine on Toronto, it seems like. I mean, not just you know, this new version of the Leafs for the past couple of years, but, you know, the Kessel Leafs, the Phil Kessel Leafs back in the day, they just continue to torch Toronto, and it's... Um, yeah, Pasternak had a hat-trick. That's the game, really. Uh, in any case, the first period, Bergeron gets on the board first. Toronto was all over Boston in the first 10 minutes of this game. Um, but once Boston got their second goal, uh, it just sort of deflated Toronto. Anyways, um, first period, Bergeron gets his ninth of the season, assisted by Pasternak. Um, second period, Pasternak... Um, Gets his first goal of the game, second point of the night. His 13th goal of the season, assisted by Bergeron, second point of the night. And uh, Gretzlick. Gretzlick? Gretzlick. Um, Pasternak then scores again. Makes it 3-0 Boston. Um, getting his 14th of the year on the power play, uh, assisted by Marchand and Bergeron, who gets his... Bergeron now has three points in the game, um, as well as Pasternak. Um... Toronto um, goes on the power play. Um, Tavares scores just as the power play ends. So it's not a power play goal. He gets his 10th of the season, um, assisted by Marner and Riley. Yeah, Riley got another point. So did Marner. So did Tavares. Those are basically Toronto's top point getters right now. Um, I believe it goes uh, Marner, Riley, Tavares. Anyways. Uh, so, going into the third, Toronto's got some... I, I watched this game, by the way. Uh, Toronto's got some momentum here. Um, they come out in the third period with guns a-blazing. They look great. Then they take a penalty. Uh, a, a high stick by Kapanen. Uh, it's, and, and the guy is, is bleeding, so it's a four-minute penalty. And Bruins stick a fork in it. Pasternak gets a hat trick um, on that note. His uh, 15th goal of the season on the power play. Um, his fourth point of the night, assisted Marchand by Marchand, who's got his, his second point of the night, and Krug. Um, and Toronto just looked deflated after that. Um, Sparks was in net for this one. And for most of these goals, you can't really uh, blame him on it. I mean,. Toronto was just not protecting the middle of the ice. The, the pass, Boston was just passing through the crease, you know, um, unhinged, you know. Uh, and um, Toronto's definitely got to do a better job of, of, you know, blocking, intercepting some of those shots. Because um, they've been doing it for like two years. Two years now. Playoffs, regular season, whatever. Um, in any case, uh, th this last goal by Nordstrom from Boston... That's his third of the year, assisted by Krejci. Uh, that was the only soft goal that Sparks let in, in my opinion, anyways. Um, 
Boston went two for three on the power play, uh, killer power play. Halleck had an amazing game. Um, this game could have at least been a lot closer, if not for him. He stopped 40 of 41 shots. Um, Spar uh, the Toronto was 0 for 3 on the power play, um, although it's kind of they were kind of 1 for 3 because they, as I mentioned, they um, scored that goal just as the power play ended. Um, Sparks uh, saved 29 of 34. It's not his fault, but he definitely needs to get better. I, I hope, you know, he hasn't played in like two weeks. You know, they should at least send him down to the Marlies on a, on a, on a practice stint, um, on a conditioning stint, excuse me, um, just to get him some more, some more games. Um, uh, Boston's now 9-5-2 uh, with 20 points, and Toronto drops to 11-6-0 with 22 points. Montreal now has more points than Toronto. 23. Yeah, Montreal fans, start rubbing at it. Although, Toronto has two games in hand. Um, in any case, uh, next game, uh, we've got New York Rangers 5-4 over the Columbus Blue Jackets in the shootout. Um, starting off in the first, uh, New York Rangers get on the board. Uh, uh, Zimbajad gets his seventh of the season, assisted by uh, Bajanovic. Bushan, yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. And um, Nemstink, <laughs> Nemst, Nemstinkinov, I'll stick to that. Uh, you know me, I just, I just murder some of these names, so I apologize uh, at a time for all of it. Um, uh, Columbus uh, ties it up in the first. Um, Atkinson gets a seventh of the year on the power play, assisted by Dubois and Jones. Uh, on to the second period, it's a it's a goal fiesta. Um, uh, Bucinovic gets his second point of the game, his fifth goal of the season, assisted by Vesey, um, to make it a, 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 a two one for the Rangers. Um, it then becomes three one for the Rangers. Uh, Kreider gets his eighth of the season, um, assisted by Hayes and D'Angelo. Um, then uh, Columbus scores and makes it 3-2. Dubois gets his seventh of the season, second point of the night. Um, and Jones and uh, gets his uh, second assist of the game, and uh, Panarin assists on that as well. Um, then Columbus ties the game. It's 3-3. Felino gets his sixth of the season. Uh, and you know what happens when Felino goes, so does Columbus. Um, uh, Jenner gets the assist, uh, as well as Nutivara. Nutivara? Nutivara? Yeah. Um, then Columbus scores again. They go ahead 4-3. Uh, um, Wenberg gets his first goal of the season. Um, Shorthanded uh, on top of that. Um, assisted by Jones, who gets his third point of the night. Um, then, uh, just before the third starts, uh, New York Rangers, they, they tied up. Uh, Vesey gets his, um, I believe, his second point of the night. Uh, his sixth goal of the season. Um, assisted by Hayes, who gets his second point of the night. And uh, Shattenkirk. So there were six goals. One, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six goals in the second period. And zero goals in the third. Uh, this would have. This sounds like it was a real in interesting game to watch. Um, in any case, uh, nothing happened in overtime. Obviously, in the shootout um, uh, for the Rangers, Zingbajad, um, Shattenkirk, and Vesey scored, and for the Blue Jackets, Atkinson and Dubois scored. Uh, the Rangers were 0 for 2 on the power play. Uh, Columbus was 1 for 2. Um, Gorgiev uh, was a net for the Rangers tonight. Uh, he had uh, saved you know, a half decent 34 of 38 shots. Um, and for Columbus it was Corpi Salo who saved 15 of 19. Yeah, the Rangers had 19 shots on that. I know. Um, the Rangers are now 8-7-2. and two. They have a winning record. Oh my god. The Rangers have a winning record. 8-7-2 with 18 points. 
Um, Columbus is now 9-6-2. They at least salvage, salvage a point out of that, and they've got 20 points. That's it for this board. This is a long um, video. Uh, we're going to start with the next one. Okay, here we are. Second board. Let's get to it. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins uh, beat the um, Arizona Coyotes 4 to nothing. Um, no goals in the first. Uh, in the second period, um, floodgates open up. Crosby gets his eighth of the year, assisted by Ketzel and Gensel. Um, so it's one nothing Pittsburgh. Uh, then two nothing Pittsburgh. Simon gets his fourth of the year, assisted by Rust and Manta or Mata, excuse me. Um, and then three nothing um, in the third period. Horkvist, uh, Hornqvist, uh gets his fifth of the season, assisted by Simon and uh, Johnson. And uh, third period, we also have a goal to make it 4-0. Um, Dumoulin gets his first of the year, assisted by Crosby and Gensel, who both get their second points of the night. Uh, Pittsburgh goes 0-2 on the power play. Uh, Arizona goes 0-2 as well. Um, DeSmith gets the shutout, saves 39 shots. All 39. Um, DeSmith is really stepping up uh, while... Uh, Murray has been taking a bit of a dive here. Uh, Kemper saves a 28 of 32. Um, Pittsburgh's now 7-5-3 with 17 points. Arizona's 7-7-1 seven, seven, and one with 15. Um, this was an important win for Pittsburgh uh, uh, because, of course, um, Rutherford, their GM, came out the other day um, saying openly, being honest, saying how disappointed he was with Pittsburgh's play and something needed to change. And um, a deal might be done. So uh, apparently, Sprong is on is on the market. If you haven't heard already, uh, but that's another video. Moving on to the next game, uh, Florida Panthers uh, beat New York Islanders four to two. Um, uh, the Panthers start the scoring with uh, Maligan gets his first of the season, assisted by McCann and Bustad. Um, New York Islanders then make it uh, tie up the game in the first. Barzell gets a second of the season, only a second goal of the season, huh? Um, assisted by Lee. Uh, second period, uh, Nelson gets his eighth of the year, uh, so it's two-one. New York uh, Mayfield assists as does Knackel. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, then uh, Florida ties up the game. Um, Hoffman gets his seventh of the year, assisted by Dadanov and Matheson. Um, Hoffman, it looks like he's coming as advertised here. Uh, third period, Barkov gets his third goal season on the power play, assisted by Yandel. Barkov only has three goals this year, huh? Hmm. Um, so now it is, uh, yeah, now it's 3-2 New York. And uh, Brower tops it off, makes it 4-2. Um, his second of the year, assisted by Huberdo. Uh, Florida's 1-5 for five on the power play. Uh, New York is 0-4. for four. Do something about that special teams there. Luongo saves 29 of 31 shots. Leonard, 27 of 30. Um, Luongo's a net. Florida's starting to win games. How long can he stay healthy? Um, we'll see. Um, with Luongo a net, you got to believe that um, this is going to start to change. Uh, Florida's now 5-5-3 five, five, and three, uh, with 13 points. Um, New York Islanders are 8-6-2 with 18. Um, they've still got an over 500 record. The Islanders are still continue to surprise everyone, um, especially myself. Uh, next game, Ottawa Senators beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 6-4. Yes, you heard me right. I didn't stutter. Ottawa beat Tampa 6-4. Um, and in a very interesting way, too, because... Ottawa starts off the scoring. Duchesne gets a six of the season, um, assisted by White. One nothing Ottawa. Ryan uh, then scores, um, gets his his fifth of the season, assisted by Cece. It's now two nothing Ottawa. Still in the first, um, Tampa Bay gets on the board. Joseph gets his third of the season, um, assisted by Sergachev and Coburn. The only other points Joseph has is um, in the previous game against Ottawa, so he obviously likes playing them. Um, second period, now it's 2-1 Ottawa, 2-2, uh, uh, Hedman scores on a, on like a beautiful end-to-end -end, um, goal, uh, he gets his third of the season on the power play, assisted by Valievsky, just, you know, he just Bobby Ord that sucker, 
all the way down. It's worth taking a look um, to see the highlights on that goal. Uh, then Tampa Bay makes it 3-2. Um, to two. Um, Coburn gets his third of the year. Uh, second point of the game, assisted by Kilhorn and Joseph, who gets his second of the game. Assist, or point, excuse me. Um, then it's now 4-2. They score again in the second period. Joseph, again, gets his uh, second goal of the night, third point of the night. Uh, fourth of the season, assisted by Kilhorn, who gets his second point of the game. And Sorelli. Uh, I just need to take a drink of water one second. <clears throat> My voice is cracking there. Okay. Um, third period. Uh, Tchuk, uh, Kachuk gets his fourth of the season, unassisted. Um, it's now 4-3, Tampa. Um, Ottawa scores, scores four unanswered goals in the third period. I'm just going to get right to it. <laughs> four goals. Um, any case, uh, yeah, so uh, it's, it's, yeah, it was, where, where do we finish here? Um, it was, yeah, it was 4-3 to three for Tampa after Kachuk scored. It's 4-4. Four, four. White scores. Gets a second point of the game. Um, his sixth of the season on the power play. Assisted by Kachuk. Gets a second point of the game. And Ryan, who also gets a second point of the game. Um, now, uh, Ottawa goes ahead 5-4 uh, with a goal from Zingle. Gets his eighth of the season. Assisted by Duchesne, who gets... Um, his second point of the night, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then Ottawa hammers that nail in the coffin. Stone picks us up his seventh of, excuse me, water hiccups. Um, Stone gets his seventh of the season on the power play, assisted by Duchesne, who gets his third point of the night, and Ryan, who um, also gets his third point of the evening. Uh, Ottawa goes, goes two for four. Yeah, that was a hiccup. Ottawa goes two for four on the power play. Uh, Tampa one for three. Um, Anderson makes 24 of 28. He didn't even really play that well. Makes 24 uh, saves and 28 shots. Um, Valievsky, uh 28 of 34. This was not a goaltender's duel. Um, and uh, Ottawa's now 7-7-3 seven, seven, with 17 points. And uh, Tampa's now 12-4-1 with 25 uh, second only to uh, Nashville, who has 26. Yeah. Um, yeah, shocker. This looks like it was an exciting game to watch. Um, after that Uber incident, it seems to have a, had a positive effect on, on the team, on the Senators. So, okay. All right, then. Um, good for Ottawa. Good. I mean, it must feel good to be an Ottawa fan right now. Uh, next game, Montreal uh, Canadiens beat the um, the Vegas Golden Knights um, five to four and spoil uh, Patchetti's return to Montreal. Um, we start the scoring. Vegas gets on the on the board first in the first period. Um, Hunt gets his second goal of the year uh, on the power play, assisted by Carlson and Heike. Um, then it's 2 nothing Vegas on a goal from Marcheseau. It's 8th of the season, uh, assisted by Smith and Carlson. It gets a sec second point of the night already, uh, second assist. Uh, second period, um, Hudden, Hudden? I'll say Hudden, uh, gets his third goal of the season, assisted by um, Kotkaniemi and Mete. It's now, for Montreal, um, it's now 2-1 uh, for Vegas. Uh, Montreal ties it up. Shaw gets on the board, gets his third of the season, um, assisted by Drun and Domi. There's Domi getting his another point. Um, the guy's on fire. Um, it's now 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Uh, two for Montreal. Montreal goes ahead. Kotkaniemi gets his gets gets a goal, his third of the season, assisted by Lekinen and Augustino. I like saying this name. Um, so now it's 3-2 for Vegas. Uh, Vegas, hold on says, wait a second, we're not done yet. Um, they tie it up. Tuck gets his fourth of the season, uh, assisted by Miller and Eakin. Third period action, um, Montreal pulls away. Uh, Shaw gets his fourth um, goal uh, of the season, his second goal of the game. 
uh, Domi gets a, uh, gets the assist, second point of the night, um, and Petri assists on that as well. Um, and then to rub insult to injury, the guy who was traded for Patrietti, one of them anyways, Tartar, uh, gets his Tartar or Tatar. Gets his seventh of the season, assisted by uh, Dano. Um, Montreal goes 0 for 2 on the power play. Vegas 1 for 3. Uh, Niemi makes 34 of 38 saves. Flurry 22 of 27. Ouch. I thought he seems to be turning it around. We'll see what happens. Um, Montreal is now 10, 5, and 3 with 23 points. As I mentioned earlier, that you now have more points than the Maple Leafs, albeit they played two more games. Um, uh, Montreal fans will love to rub that in uh, Maple Leaf fans' faces, like mine. Um, Vegas is now 7, 10, and 1 with 15 points. Um, I still think Vegas is going to make the playoffs. I think, um, and I think, I think, I mean, Montreal has been surprising everyone. They've been playing a really good game. Um, how long can they keep this up? Who knows? We'll see. Uh, next up, uh, and last game of the night. <sighs> this one I saw most of. Um, I was kind of doing the boards in between everything, but nothing much happened. So, <laughs> um, Hamanek. Uh, scores in the first period. His second of the year, assisted by, assisted by Cesarek and Hannafin. Harmonic was a monster in this game, um, with and without the puck. He was just amazing. He literally was directly responsible for stopping two, three goals, two, three goals, um, two, three potential goals on the night. Um, he had a fantastic game. Um... Calgary goes 0 for 1 on the power play. LA goes 0 for 3. And a game, a tight game like this, you're, you've got to, um, you've got to capitalize on one of those. Um, Riddick gets his first career NHL shutout, saves um, all 21 shots. Um, looks like he may even start uh, tomorrow's game as well, um, and they might uh, get Smith to continue to. Um, practice with their goalie coach, who apparently is trying to get him back on track. Um, Campbell stops 35 of 36 shots. He has, still has a decent game. And on the goal he let in, it was a seeing-eye goal. He was completely um, uh, screened. He didn't see it at all. Um, so I don't blame him for this. Uh, LA's got to start scoring. Um, but Hamannik was, was like... Uh, Bees on honey um, on Kowalczyk, um, who leads the Kings in points so far this season. Um, in any case, uh, Calgary's now 11 6 and 1 with 23 points, um, and LA is 5 11 and 1 with 11 points, with, with if, uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the worst in the league. Yeah, by, by like four points, too. I believe. In any case, this, um, sorry this was so long. There was a lot of games on tonight. Uh, 11. Um, I'll be here tomorrow. I hope to see you as well. Or today. Tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, if, if you uh, enjoy this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any Hockey Geek friends, please don't feel shy about sharing. I'll see you soon.